Well, hello there, people. Hunter Spoke Riders here again. And today was a very good day for the old 96 Caprice. Now, you're probably asking yourself, hey, aren't those the white letter tires? And uh, off the old 96 Caprice, why are they sitting in the garage? Well, there's a reason for that. Um, I took the rims and tires off today and replaced them with something else. Now, before I pan over there and show you what I got, it's definitely, definitely a good update. Now, don't get me wrong. I, uh, I love the look of these... Uh, I love the look of these black uh, rims with the white letter uh, Hercules tires. You know, it was a great look. And even though I've only been riding on these for three months, I wanted to change the look up one more time. Uh, I like this look. You know, just what I need to have more uh, white letter tires sitting in my garage. <laughs> this would be I'm up to like three sets sitting in here now. Because I got the ones off the Cutlass, uh, the ones off the El Camino. And now the ones off the 96 Caprice. So basically all three of my rides have a spare set of uh, white leather tires and rims. But anyway, I know I've said this in a few of my videos before, how I only like to ride on wire rims or the stock rims with the white leather tires. Um, I've had so many different sets of wire wheels in my lifetime, it's crazy. Now, I was thinking about putting some wire wheels on the old uh, 96 Caprice. But see, the thing about that is, the guy I get my wire wheels from in California, uh, they're kind of made to order, you know? When you get them powder coated and stuff, they tear them all apart, they powder coat them, and they put them all back, to go, uh, put them all back together. So it's like uh, six to eight weeks. It's like six to eight weeks to, uh, you know, get your rims. Now... I didn't really want to go with the 14s, the white walls. Uh, that really wasn't the look I was really going for. I'm not really trying to build the Caprice into a low rider. Um, I've seen a few low rider Caprices, my body style, and they look cool and all. But you know, this is for me. It's an everyday driver, uh, so I, I didn't really want to go that route. You know, so I didn't really want to put uh, the 14s in the white in the white walls. That, that wasn't the look I was going for. Now, as much as I like these rims, and I was actually planning on riding on these all summer, but the only thing I didn't like about these is because uh, they're so closed off, you can't really tell that I got the Caprice with the disc brakes in the back. So, I woke up this morning, uh, got on the internet, started looking at pictures again, you know, and... I said, I told myself, you know, I, I didn't even really plan on even doing any of this. I didn't really plan on buying rims or new rims and tires since I already got, just got these tires three months ago. But it's just one of them things, you know, just woke up in the morning, started looking online, and uh, one thing led to another, and I knew today was the day. Let me make sure I get this sign over here. That's the main thing I want to get. The one in front of the, uh, on top of our house, the actual house is a lot clearer. another wild adventure <laughs> I got my uh, white letter tires riding shotgun with me and uh, jump back on this freeway uh, I'll fade this back in once I get to the house get the car cleaned up I'll give you an overall shot of everything definitely definitely a good update on the old 96 Caprice today so you guys tell me what you think I'm gonna walk out here
Yeah, there you have it, folks. Just got back from the tire shop a few hours ago. Uh, you gotta excuse this. Not even I didn't even clean it up. I'll, I'll take it to work tomorrow and clean it up. Uh, it's too damn hot out here to be messing with this uh, car right now. But uh, there you go, folks. Had to upgrade one more time. Tell me what you think. I know it ain't, you know. Now, eventually, eventually I like to get a nice set of 22 inch staggered uh, three piece rims on here. But the width I want to go in the back is going to require some custom work that I really don't want to do at this time because I'm driving the car every day. So, I was thinking about going with some uh, 20 or 22 inch wires, but I really didn't want to wait six or eight weeks for them. And then I, you know, I just wanted to try something a little different. I normally ride wires, but I said, what the hell? This is like the classic West Coast rim right here. End up going with the old uh, 22 inch IROC. I didn't really want the chrome ones. The chrome ones a little bit too flashy for me. Uh, so. I just woke up this morning, you know, looked at some pictures, and I just love the look. I just like the look of them. Uh, I just love the look of the IROC wheel on these uh, bubble caprices. Now, <clears throat> I didn't want to go too big. I didn't want to go too outrageous because uh, this car has been lowered. Uh, it's been lowered. Uh, the guy that had it before me uh, put some uh, lowering springs on it. It's been lowered two inches in the front and three inches for the back so I wasn't you know the springs he put on there were pretty expensive I looked them up online so I will I'm not I wasn't really trying to raise my car for no rims so just to keep it clean keep it classy you know just went with the old 22 inch IROX I like it uh, it's different you know it's different for me I think it sits pretty good I mean, it could be lower in the front, but, you know, it's not that serious. Until I get some more uh, suspension mods done, like the adjustable uh, trailing arms in the back. But the main thing I wanted, I liked it because, you know, it kind of opened everything up, and now you can, it's easier to see uh, the disc brakes in the back. Now, I'll be doing an up, not an update, but yeah, I'll be doing an update video next week. Uh, next weekend I'll snatch these wheels back off and um, scuff down the frame and all the suspension parts because it's like a little bit of surface rust back there I'll scuff all that down and um, you know paint that black uh, paint the brake cobblers paint a few little suspension parts let me stand back and give you a full shot of it But that's pretty much the jits of it, man. Just, you know, all spur of the moment. That's one good thing about, uh, one good thing I love about living on the West Coast, you know. To me, the IROC, well, not just to me, but the IROC rim is like a classic West Coast rim. So, you know, in Arizona, there's like a tire shop on down there in every corner. And a lot of people uh, keep these in stock, which is, uh, you know, seeing as kind of a five on five bowl pattern. Uh, a lot of shops don't keep them in stock, but some of them do. But uh, made a few phone calls, uh, went to the shop. They had some in stock, brand spanking new, pulled them out the box, brand new rims, brand new tires, mounted up, had me up out of there in like an hour. You know? Uh, took me about 20 minutes to drive to the shop, 20 minutes back home, uh, an hour to get it all mounted and stuff. and. Uh, there you go. Uh, I like it. You guys tell me what you think, good or bad. 
Yeah, I know they're not uh, 26s, they're not 28s, but you know, I'm an old guy. I ain't trying to do all that. <laughs> you know, I'll leave that to you, uh, you youngsters, 20 year olds on back, you know. This is probably, honestly, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Um, I love the look. I, I love what the, a lot of people are doing with their cars, you know. Don't get me wrong, I like 26s, I like 24s, 26s. And uh, I like them guys in box Chevys riding on 28s and everything. That's all cool for them, but uh, uh, that's all cool for them. But you know, I drive my car every day. So, I'm already uh, skeptical over these little bitty tires <laughs> uh, with these messed up roads, these, all these potholes in Arizona. But we'll see what happens, you know. I'll take it easy. But all in all, I think it's a good look. I like it. I like it. I like the look with the white letters. I'll probably go back to them, you know. I, I like to have options, you know. To me, this is just my opinion. Rims don't really make or break a car, you know. Because at the end of the day, it's funny. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I see a lot of people hating, talking about, you throw some big rims on your car. And, oh, you ruin the look of the car and you ruin this. And I'm like, how? How do you ruin the car because of rims? I mean, they're only five lugs. It's not like the wheels are mounted on and, you know, welded on for life. You know, five lugs, swap them out. Uh, you can change rims and tires like you change your shoes. So, you know, I'm going to ride the 22s for the uh, rest of the summer. See how, you know, see what it is. Um, there might be a weekend. There might be one week I get tired of them. I'll throw the white letters back on there. I still got them on, the, on standby. You know, that's the beauty of them. They're only rims. You can swap them on and off. So if anybody, you know, all comments are welcome, you know, good or bad, but you know, if you're on that hating stuff, oh, I, I ruined the car and all this and that, I ain't trying to hear all that. <laughs> you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, to be honest with you, like I said, uh, 22s is probably about the biggest. Me personally, 22s is the biggest I'm gonna go on the, on the car. You know, uh, if I go, Anything bigger than the 22, it's going to be uh, on the truck or SUV, you know. Uh, but that's just me. I mean, I love the look of them, but I, I guess I, I just ain't brave enough to drive every day on no uh, 26s and no 28s. I, I don't see how, honestly, I don't see how people drive on them without bending their rims all up. Unless they got some super smooth roads where they live. But anyway, there you have it. Went ahead uh, this morning and threw on some 22 inch IROX on the old uh, 96 Caprice. Just a little update video. Yesterday was Father's Day. So this is the father's, my Father's Day gift uh, to myself. Because <laughs> today is Monday. There you have it, 22 inch IROX on the old uh, 96 Caprice. Uh, until the next episode, uh, next weekend I will be uh, pulling them back off so I can uh, scuff and shoot some of the suspension parts since I can see everything now and clean it up a little bit, you know. Just, uh, just try to ride clean for the summer, you know, stay, like they say, stay in my own lane. <laughs> so. There you have it, Hunter Spoke Riders signing out to the next episode.